Hey guys, Warner and the Berry Bot here. I'm printing up another uh, screwdriver holder here. And uh, this is the second one. I love the first one I did so much. And uh, my workshop, I've got two different areas where I do this kind of need these tools. And so I, I, I got another second set so I can have um, one of these tool holders in each place where I work. Um, the first one turned out really great, uh, so I thought I'd make another one, and uh, here's some of the settings. Uh, when I mine, a platen usually goes up an extra 9 degrees, you'll see that, but then it comes right down and uh, stabilizes very nicely at 50. I'm running a little hot on the PLA at 240 degrees C, but it works really well. I get excellent adhesion in between layers. Um, looks like I got about 3 hours, 16 minutes or so for this print. Uh, those numbers seem to be a little off, uh, but, uh, anyway, yeah, this is, um, these, uh, came out really nice. This, uh, has an infill on this one of, uh, 30%. Uh, sliced it with Cura. I'm really liking Cura. Cura is a really nice program for slicing, uh, due to the fact that it makes the rapid moves. It tries to keep all rapid moves within the model and goes to quite lengths uh you know to keep to keep the uh the nozzle within the model space which is really nice you can see 30 percent fill there 1.75 on the filament uh, we're going to go ahead and buzz right through um, most of the print here uh, kind of boring uh, but i'll go ahead and just do it real rapidly and we'll take it over to the workbench and if you want to stick around you can see how i end up putting it all together Just wanted to share with you the actual model uh, that I created. At first glance, it actually looks pretty simple, but this is a complex model in that uh, each of these holes actually has a taper or a draft angle of about two degrees uh, to match the screwdriver. So there was quite a few sketches that w were involved just to produce this um, uh, the simple uh, the simple model. You can see each of the set of holes here are actually on a different plane. Uh, these three holes here are the same size, these two are a little smaller, and then these three here are even smaller yet. Here you can kind of see the, uh, the draft angle. I went ahead and put a radius on the top of this and on this edge here, but on the bottom I just let, went ahead and left it flat knowing I was going to be printing it like this. Still can't get over the fact you can just have an idea in your head, produce a model, STL, and go to the printer and just print it. It's so awesome. Those of you that are just, may just be thinking about getting into 3D printing, uh, tell you what, once you do, you'll just be amazed at what it is that you can do. We'll take a look at how the printer did making this. Hey guys, finished up another beautiful print. This is uh, another one of those um, screwdriver holders. I love the one that I've got so much that I thought I'd make another one. I'm going to see how easy I can pop this off of here. It's on there pretty good. But I'll give it, a, give it a go here. Sometimes these little suckers are really stuck on there good. And this is one of those. Boy, that was on there nice. Oh, look at how beautiful though. Woohoo! Oh, that's a nice print. Just a couple little furs there. 
It'll come right off. Go take it over to the workbench and clean it up and put it together. Nice. Well, it didn't really take anything more than a minute to clean it up. It's really nice. And you'll notice that these are actually tapered holes for this for these screwdrivers to fit in. And there's there's three large, two medium, and then three small diameter holes for different size tools. But they just fit in there so nicely. Um, this is a pretty sharp edge here, but I can knock that off with my scraper. This little scraper is really great for taking off uh, just the sharp edges on stuff. You see it just makes like a little shavings from this uh, PLA. You can just see, see that little tiny shaving. Works good. The other side, the whole top side, I put a radius on it, um, on the actual print, so. So this is already all, these are nice and smooth and round. Anyways, that turned out really cool. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and um, I'll just put these on. Go ahead and just mount that up like that. This one I made with a lot less infill. Um, so I'll probably go ahead and put a little bit of JB Weld in the end of the, where the screws go in because um, it's not nearly as solid. I tried, I always do experimentation every print. I change things around. So I did a little bit thicker um, for the shell on this. This was done with Cura Slicer. And uh, so I think it's got three loops around, um, around it but it's only got like a I think 30 percent infill and so it's not nearly as solid but um, still really rigid I think this will work really well so we'll give it a try one other thing too is I could take a uh, just go in here and knock off these inner edges you see how nicely this works uh, just deburring that. That PLA deburs really nicely. You can see that little tiny shaving basically. Just takes off the really sharp edge. Which is really great. There we go. Looks good. Alright, we'll do some drilling here. I don't know if you guys do this uh, as well, but one thing that I really like to do is this is VHB tape, and I use it as a temporary fastener. Um, I do this a lot, but like I want to match drill. I want to match drill this into the side of this, like this. So what I'll do is I'll temporarily hold it with um, temporarily hold it with the tape, and then it'll allow me to pre do pre-drilling and just keep it in perfect position. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and trim up a couple little strips. Just like that. And I'll lay it right in between. Then what I'll do is I'll just lay it down and align it where I want it.
That looks good. You can kind of see where it is. Looks like the screw holes will go good. I think I'll move it over just a hair. There. Yeah, that looks good. So now what I'll do is go ahead and put in my drill. This is the size of the bit that I used for the pre-drill here. All I'm going to do is just barely touch it just to get the screw hole started centered where it's supposed to be and then this is what I'm going to use for the pre-drill. And actually I think I'm going to go one size smaller. And this is for 832 screw. So what I'll do These can't. These two here will go through, clear through, into the uh, into the hole. But that's all right. Not a problem. So then, once those are in there, pop that off. I can just go ahead and fasten those in there. I think what I'll do is use some JB Weld in there too since this has got some the inside of this is a little bit more open so uh, JB Weld fills those little voids and really makes it quite solid. The first holder uh, I made I used a 50% infill and so it was very solid and uh, the screws took to it really well um, but since this one's 30% I'll go ahead and glue these in I got my little JB weld kit here that I love and another icing bag just go ahead and mix up a quick batch Uh, one thing I want to do before I do this is the screws for these two here are going to be a little bit shorter. I'm sure a lot of you guys have done this, but this is pretty handy. You know, on these on this electrical plier, it's got um, 832. I'm sorry, 832. So you can just put your screws in here. I've got thousands and thousands of dollars invested in hardware, but would you believe I still never have exactly what I want in everything. <laughs> So sometimes I do this just to modify my screws. I'll just go ahead and trim a couple of them to where I know they are the right size. Let me just screw it up and I just eyeball this. I know about where it needs to be. So I'm gonna mix up a little batch. always like to overkill the adhesive but the stuff's pretty cheap so nothing's worse than running out of, uh, of adhesive you guys know about this icing bag I told you about that in one of my other videos I love these things they're so fantastic for uh, to get an accurate bead of adhesive where you want it Hold it back on itself makes it a little easier when you get it. Stick it down as far in there as you can.
and squeegee it all the way up to the end. What I'll do is put the, some in the centers first. These are the long screws. Oh yeah, it bites really good. You can always feel it, right? When you put a screw in there, if it's gonna, how much force you put on it, the point where it's gonna wood strip. This feels really good. It's surprising with only a 30% infill. Oh yeah, those are really nice. Nice and snug. You just put a little bit in each one of these. Don't plan on ever taking this off. Yeah, even those fit really nicely. Got a little bit on the inside here. I'll squeegee off. Okay, put in the last one. Now we've got to work fairly quick with this stuff. Oh yeah, gosh, it's surprising how well they how well they bit in there. I like using uh, alcohol works really good with working with epoxies for cleanup. All right, looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and do the other side and we'll call that done. Woohoo!